Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. Today's topic is ghost teeth or regional odontodysplasia, which is also known as odontogenesis imperfecta. This comes under third year oral pathology and A1 in first year dental histology. So it comes along with amelogenesis imperfecta and dentinogenesis imperfecta. The first one was affecting enamel, dentinogenesis imperfecta affecting the dentin and this affects both enamel and dentin. So let's see what is ghost teeth or regional odontodysplasia. Ghost is it's nothing but abnormalities of enamel, dentin and pulp. So it is the etiology is basically unknown. So it could be local trauma, radiation, hypophosphatasia, hypocalcemia and hyperpyrexia. So due to these reasons, there will be abnormalities in enamel, dentin and pulp. So it is most commonly recognized at the age of tooth eruption that is between 2 to 4 years in deciduous and 7 to 11 years in permanent teeth that is mostly the central incisor, lateral incisor and canines. So the ghost teeth or regional orendodysplasia, it is an abnormal enamel, dentin and pulp formation especially in the maxillary anterior teeth. It can be seen both in deciduous and permanent dentition. So let's see the etiology. So it could be a local trauma or irradiation or hypophosphatasia, hypocalcemia or even hyperpyrexia. So what happens is there is abnormal formation of enamel, dentin and pulp. So it is most commonly recognized at the age of 2 to 4 years in deciduous time dentition on 7 to 11 years in permanent dentition. So during this period the maxillary central incisor, lateral incisor, canines are erupting and it is most commonly seen in maxillary teeth or the anterior teeth. So what happens is these teeth sometimes fail to erupt or if they erupt they show yellow formed, yellow deformed crowns with a rough surface because it has very hypoplastic, hypomineralized, hypo, uh, um, hypomineralized enamel and dentin, which is uh, not properly mineralized. So they are very easy to undergo uh, staining and uh, deformation. So there will be a rough surface, and there will be a stained, uh, yellow stained, uh, deformed crowns. So sometimes they won't erupt at all. If it erupts, it shows in this way. So the affected tooth have very thin enamel and these teeth appear as crumbled. That is because of its peculiar radiographic feature. It shows abnormal radiolucency. That is marked reduction in the radio density. So the abnormal radiolucency makes the tooth as a ghost appearance that's why it's known as ghost teeth because the hypoplastic hypocalcified dentin and enamel with large pulp chamber makes it a ghost appearance there will be big pulp chamber very thin enamel very thin dentin makes it a ghost appearance that is why it's known as ghost teeth and it is regional odontoplasia it is affecting the particular region and the odonto and dysplasia is malformation or improper formation of cells dysplasia plasia is multiplication of cell so the name itself gives a clue so most of the diseases syndromes cyst everything gives a clue we get a bit of answer from the title itself so that is how it is becoming a ghost teeth, a large pulp chamber with very thin enamel and dentin. So in this case, the roots will be very short and poorly outlined and there will be localized arrest in tooth development. And it is most commonly diagnosed by the clinical appearance and radiographic appearance. There will be irregular shaped brown discoloration and radiographic we can easily see in the ghost 
appearance of tooth and management either we can uh, do extraction of these teeth and undergo um, a prosthetic uh, rehabilitation and also restorative procedures uh, such as root canal treatment can be done so it depends on the patient's uh, clinical profile so that's all about ghost teeth uh, or regional odontodysplasia or odontogenesis imperfecta so this is odontogenesis imperfecta so dentinogenesis imperfecta affecting dentine amelogenesis imperfecta is affecting enamel and odontogenesis imperfecta is affecting both enamel dentine and pulp giving a ghost teeth so i'll come up with a new session dentistry and more thank you